What is going on people, it's Matt from Liquid Loans. Today we'll be discussing the different types of yield farming and how you can use them to maximize your gains. So with no further ado, let's go. Yield farming is an umbrella term used to describe all the ways to earn more crypto from existing crypto. The three most popular yield farming methods are staking, lending and liquidity providing. So in this one, we'll dive a bit deeper on each method. So let's get the party started with staking. Staking offers DeFi users several different ways to earn some tasty passive yield. One way would be to become a validator in a layer one network like PulseChain. In this scenario, you would be responsible for signing transactions and generating new blocks. And in return, you would receive rewards in the form of PLS inflation. Another scenario would be participating in a smart contract on a layer one network like Liquid Loans. Liquid Loans has a special protocol which allows stakers of loan the native token to earn a portion of all the fees in the protocol. Hex, another popular DeFi crypto allows users to lock up their tokens from one day to 5,555 days depending on a time frame of their choice. So there are many different forms of staking in DeFi each with their own pros and cons depending on one's preferences. So now let's move on to lending and various protocols allow users to mint a loan off of their crypto. Users can then take the assets from their loan and invest in another protocol that pays them yield or invest in another asset for price appreciation. In the Liquid Loans protocol, users can mint USDL from collateralized PLS. They can then take the USDL stablecoin and deposit it into the stability pool to earn premiums from liquidations and also loan token rewards for helping to keep the protocol stable. If a user is more risk on, they can take their stable coin and use it as leverage to buy more of the cryptocurrencies that they like. The possibilities in DeFi are endless and every investor will have a different approach depending on their life circumstances at the time. And finally, let's take a look at liquidity providing. Liquidity providing is when a user adds two tokens to a liquidity pool on a decentralized exchange, or DEX for short, in order to facilitate easy trading between the two. As a reward, LPs are typically given a portion of the fees from the DEX. LPs can make a significant amount of yield for their services, although it carries an added risk, as investors can experience in permanent loss if the price moves out of their chosen range. Strange. So, yield farming is for everyone, right? Whoa, slow down boy, like everything in life, there are always risks that users should be well aware of before jumping in with both feet. Firstly, if you plan to start a validator on a proof of stake blockchain, you must be sure that you know what your responsibility is and the economics of your decision. Otherwise, you may get hit with penalties and that decision may not turn out to be profitable. Second, when staking with any protocol, do a full tokenomics breakdown to make sure you're not staking a token which is destined to depreciate long term. Also be sure to know how the yield of the protocol is generated, in other words, do your own research. Third, lending carries inherent risks, whether it be risk of liquidations, predatory interest rates, or taking irresponsible leverage. To be uber safe, make sure you take a highly over collateralized loan with no interest rates and a timeless repayment schedule. If only there was a protocol on Pulse Chain that offered that, wink wink. And finally, when it comes to being an LP, familiarize yourself with impermanent loss. Although liquidity providers can earn high returns for their services, sometimes it would have been more profitable just to hold their tokens in the first place. So to sum it up, yield farming is an umbrella term used to describe all the ways to earn more crypto from existing crypto. The main ways are staking, borrowing and lending and liquidity providing and all are great ways to earn passive income, but of course with each having some sort of risk. So the question is, should you start yield farming? The answer is, 
maybe. It depends on your risk tolerance, your knowledge, and that you're fully aware of the protocols and methods that you're using to yield farm. So I hope you enjoyed that video on yield farming. If you like content like this, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new content on the channel. You can also tap the like button, share the video with someone who you think it may benefit. And if you're feeling very kind, consider dropping a cheeky comment below for the algo. It does help us out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.